Hello, my friends, and welcome to a lesson exploring long multiplication on the large bead frame. And I'm sure you've been practicing a lot of short multiplication, you know, just one digit in that multiplier. But now we're going to see what happens if we have two or more. We'll start with two. All right, let's get our bead frame out. There we go. And you won't be able to see the millions on this one, but uh, we're probably not going to go that high just for this example. However, you are welcome to go much further if you'd like. And of course, some of that beautiful bead frame paper. Ah, we also need a problem, right? Do you have one for me? How about 2,461 times 32? Well, first I'm going to write my name on my paper. All right, and then the multiplicand 2,461. Making sure to put everything in the right place and then putting the multiplier below that. And the same thing, aligning the numbers 30 and 2 just below that. And an added touch could be to take a straight edge or a ruler right underneath those two numbers and reinforcing that separation between where we will be putting our product. Except we might look at something a little bit different about products today. We're using two digits in our multiplier. We're going to end up with two partial products, parts of our final answer. But more on that in just a moment. I want to teach you something really cool. Decomposition. I'm not asking you to start decomposing and turn into a zombie. I want to show you how to take this number and pull it apart a bit. So let's chat about it. We've got 2,461. Let's talk about the parts. Two thousands, four hundreds, six tens, one unit. Let's write each of those numbers in the right place on this side, but giving each its own row. So putting the one same as it is on this side in the units, but nothing else. Uh, then how about that six tens, that four hundreds, and the two thousands. And so you can see what the number looks like now. I'm going to fill in what's not there, all those zeros that would be behind them if they were standing alone and by themselves. Because this is sort of what we will be doing. We are going to take 1, 60, 400, and 2,000, and we're going to multiply all of them by 2. Give yourself some kind of a bracket or a beautiful looking carrot there. I'm not talking about the vegetable. So that you can write down that all of this is going to be multiplied by 2. All right, let's decompose for the next digit, but notice it's in the tens. However, it's going to be really hard to take something 30 times on this. Um, we're going to be taking things three times, but we're not going to be taking one three times in that case. Let's put that power of 10 into our multiplicand. Here's what I mean. We're going to do the same thing we just did here, but we're going to shift everything over to the next category because it's not going to be 1 times 3 then, and it's not going to be 1 times 30. We're going to do 10 times 3. Let's, let's try it together. Go ahead and write your 1 on the tens wire on this side so that we know now it's a 10. That 60 is going to move over to the hundreds and become 600. The 400 will become 4,000 and the 2,000 will become, right, 20,000. Fill in all those zeros. And this should help you to understand a little bit about what is happening. We're going to make another beautiful looking carrot kind of thing to show that we are including all of this times three. There are the two steps of our multiplication. And now we're set up and ready to actually begin. How cool. OK. Well, shall we? The first thing we're doing is taking one and we're taking it two times. One taken once, one taken twice, and you can see the answer is two. Let's write it down aligned on the unit's wire, just like we would for short multiplication. Now we're taking six times two. We know that there's going to be some exchanging in there. There's a group of six. 
one, two, three, four, exchanging five, six. You can sort of see that 12 there, but we're not gonna look at this one just yet. Just take from the tens and write that down. Four taken two times, there's four taken once, four taken twice, I see a nine there. And now two taken once, two taken twice, gives us four for a partial product of 4,922. And I say partial product because we're not finished yet. We've only just completed our units digit. Now it's time to work on that tens digit. Now look at your decomposition. We're not going to be starting on our units wire. We're gonna start on our tens wire. Remember, we're now doing the tens digit. So, now that you have this recorded, go ahead and reset and get ready. We're going to start on our tens wire. But wait, what about our units wire? There's nothing there. Let's record that before we start this next digit by putting a zero right on that units wire. The start of our second partial product. All right, now let's roll through. We're taking one, or should I say 10, three times. And one times 10, or units times 10, is going to give us tens, and that's where our answer is going to go. There's so many fantastic ways of looking at this. Taking one once, one twice, 10, I mean, and there's three times we get three on our tens wire. Let's record it. Now we're taking six three times, or six tens by three tens, giving us those hundreds. Okay, here's six once, one, two, three, four, exchanging, five, six, there's twice, and here is a third group of six, giving us an eight. Now we're taking four three times, there's four once, four twice, there's just one, exchanging, two, three, four, and there's three to go on our thousands line. Okay, last one, two taken three times, two taken once, two taken two times, two taken three times, gives us a grand total of 70,000 to write down. All right, now you have your two partial products. If we put these together, we'll have our final product. And that's as easy as adding an addition symbol, grabbing your straight edger ruler and giving a nice little bit of separation between those partial products and your final product. And you can do this in your head. Some of these are pretty easy. But let's pretend you can't do it in your head. And for those of you whose addition skills might not be that strong yet, we have this bead frame here that we can use. So let's use it. All we have to do is put our first partial product right back on there. There's 4,922, and let's go down the line. Adding zero units gives us just two. Adding three tens gives us 50. Ooh, adding eight to this one. One, exchanging, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's seven to put in our hundreds. We're adding three to our thousands. Eight. And there's nothing else to add on the bottom except for those 70 thousands. And so now we can see our final answer from this long multiplication is 78,752. And hopefully you were taking a good look at your decomposition while you were doing this to really understand how these quantities are moving. Well, my friends, it was fantastic doing some of that long multiplication with you on this fantastic bead frame. Now it's time for you to try one out on your own. I can't wait to see how it turns out. See you again soon.